While the people of God never lost their sense of identity, they were no more than a loose federation of tribes without a central government. The twelve tribes were without a human king. God raised up heroes called churches who lead Israel against their enemies. The book of churches is composed of the stories from the lowest period of Israel's history between the invasion of Canaan and the establishment of the monarchy. These stories are about the exploits of national heroes called judges, most of whom were military leaders rather than judges in the legal sense of the word. The first story is all about Deborah, a woman of few words but firm in her decision. Second, the call of Gideon, the charismatic leader. And third, the story of Samson, a strong leader to protect his people. never abandoned his people. As he had promised Abraham, he appointed and sent a leader to rescue his suffering people. The Canaan king maltreated the Israelites for many years. The Israelites again offended the Lord, so the Lord allowed them to fall into the power of the Canaan king, Jaban, who reigned in Hazor. The general of the army was Sisera. The Israelites cried out to the Lord, for Jabin's 900 iron chariots were used to oppress them for 20 years. At this time, the prophet Deborah, wife of Lafidot, was judging Israel. She sent Barak on a mission. This is what the Lord of Israel commands. Go to Mount Tabor and take with you 10,000 Naphtalites and Zebulonites. I will lead Caesarea, the general of Jabin's army, out to you at the Wadi Kishon to get him into your power. If you come with me, I will go. But if you do not come with me, I will not go. I will certainly go with you, but you shall not gain glory from the expedition in which you are sent. For the Lord will have Caesarea fall into the power of you. was reported to Sisera that Barak had gone up to Mount Tabor. So Sisera assembled from Harshad Hagwem at the Wadi Kishon. All 900 of his iron chariots. Go! 
The entire army of Cicero fell beneath the sword, not even one man surviving. Cicero, in the meantime, had fled on foot to the tent of Jael. Come in, my lord. Come in with me. Do not be afraid. Please, give me a little water to drink. I am thirsty. Stand at the entrance of the tent. If there's someone here, if anyone comes and asks, say no. Princess, from me, from me comes a song for Yahweh. I will glorify Yahweh, God of Israel. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. On that day, Nebor and Borak sang the song of Canticle to the Lord. <laughs> 